Are you a fan of Glock pistols? Think you know everything there is to know about them? Well, think again. The truth is, there are some secrets about Glock pistols that you probably don't know. In this video, we will learn some juicy details about Glock pistols that you won't find anywhere else. Unlike your average handgun, Glock pistols do not have a safety feature. However, they use a sophisticated safe action system that automatically disengages when the trigger is squeezed. This feature reduces the risk of accidental firing, but does not eliminate the dangers of mishandling by unauthorized users. The rationale for this design is that Glocks were initially intended for military and law enforcement use, where ease of access to firing capability is critical. Whether a Glock is more hazardous than other firearms depends on the competency and responsibility of the person holding it. The Glock 17 is the original model, and the Glock 19 is the upgraded version. However, some may wonder what happened to the Glock 18. Well, it's quite similar to the other models, with one major difference. It can switch between semi-automatic and fully automatic modes. In fully automatic mode, it can fire as quickly as it can be reloaded, with a maximum capacity of an astonishing 1,200 rounds per minute. The problem is that a fully automatic handgun in the hands of criminals could be extremely dangerous, which is why most countries, including the United States, have banned their sale. As a result, the Glock 18 is a highly rare and illegal firearm in most places, except where it is used as a military weapon. The exterior of Glock handguns is made of a polymer material known as Polymer 2. The company is known for keeping its trade secrets closely guarded, which has led many business investigators to try and figure out the composition of the material. While Glock has not revealed its secrets, analysts believe that the polymer used in the Glock 19 could be Zytel nylon one of the most durable and wear-resistant polymers available. The material is also used to make highly resistant track shoes worn by Olympic sprinters. So fast bullets and fast runners might have something in common after all. The popularity of the Glock was not limited to movies and TV. It also made its way into rap music in the 1990s. As the genre exploded in popularity, rappers like Dr. Dre and Tupac Shakur frequently referenced violence and gang warfare in their lyrics, often mentioning the Glock as their weapon of choice. The Glock's reputation as a powerful and lethal firearm, ideal for shootouts, made it a popular subject for lyrics. Its name also had a certain ring to it that other firearms didn't quite match. However, as the East Coast versus West Coast rap wars intensified, some individuals sought out the Glock as their preferred weapon, leading to tragic events. In fact, the still unsolved murder of Tupac Shakur was allegedly carried out with a Glock. Gaston Glock, the founder of the company, was born in 1929 in Austria and worked as an engineer. After World War II, he started his own business with the goal of becoming the world's leading manufacturer of curtain rods. While they may not be lethal weapons, his experience with metalworking and engineering would eventually come in handy. In the 1970s, Glock shifted his focus to making knives for the Austrian military, but it wasn't until he was in his 50s that he designed his iconic firearm, the Glock handgun. Glock has faced various embezzlement schemes throughout the years, and it's worth noting that these weren't just committed by low-level employees trying to make a quick buck. Some high-ranking members of the company, including the former CEO of the US subsidiary Glock Incorporated, have been convicted of racketeering. So why did the company become so susceptible to financial crimes? One contributing factor may be its complex corporate structure. Glock employs shell companies across the globe to conduct business, which allows it to evade high taxes in developed countries by operating in tax havens. While most machines have countless parts that can be difficult for an untrained person to disassemble and reassemble, the Glock proves that sometimes simplicity is better. The Glock 17 and every subsequent model have only 34 parts, and online diagrams are readily available to guide users through the disassembly and reassembly process. But why did Glock design such a simple machine? The Austrian military initially contracted for a simple gun with no more than 58 parts. But Gaston Glock exceeded their expectations by delivering a gun with even fewer parts. The result was a simple, efficient, and budget-friendly design, a rarity in the world of design projects. In the 1980s, the Glock was gaining popularity, but it was the police who gave it the biggest boost. Until then, police forces were armed with the classic Smith & Wesson 38 revolvers, leaving them outmatched by criminals. Seeing an opportunity, Gaston Glock marketed its lightweight, fast-firing, and easy-to-produce handguns to police forces, and they responded. Most major American cities eventually contracted with him, as did governments around the world. But if something's good for cops, is it also good for criminals? 
the Glock quickly became a popular firearm in Hollywood movies and TV shows. One of its earliest appearances was in the action movie Free Jack, where it was featured alongside Mick Jagger. It later appeared in TV shows like The X-Files and in the Best Picture winning film The Hurt Locker. However, its most iconic appearance was in Die Hard 2 Die Harder, where Bruce Willis's character John McClane claimed it was an undetectable porcelain gun. While this claim is not scientifically accurate, John McClane was known for his action-packed heroics, not his knowledge of material science. Gaston Glock personally tested his new and unique guns, and those who observed him shooting the lightweight pistols noticed something intriguing. He always shot them with his non-dominant left hand. This demonstrated that the gun was easy to use with either hand, but there was also a more sinister reason for this unconventional stance. When testing any new gun design, there is a risk of catastrophic failure that could potentially blow off the tester's fingers. Glock chose to risk his left hand fingers over his dominant right hand, but fortunately his design proved to be reliable and he emerged from testing with all 10 fingers intact. The Glock 17 was a game changer for the firearms industry, but the company didn't stop there. Beyond guns, Glock also filed patents for various high quality field equipment, including a folding spade and a method for removing heavy metals from water. Their medical sciences division even patented a safe treatment for vaginal bacterial infections, showing that Glock's innovations extend far beyond the world of firearms. Gaston Glock, a man whose life's work revolved around guns, had a close brush with death in an unexpected manner in 1999. During that time, he discovered that one of his trusted advisors, Charles Everett, had been embezzling from the company. Glock confronted Everett personally, but the latter had already prepared for the confrontation. He had hired a French mercenary to assassinate Glock, who attacked him with a large mallet. Despite the odd choice of weapon, the 70-year-old Glock was able to fight back and defend himself. In the end, both Everett and his accomplices were found guilty of attempted murder. For numerous enthusiasts, Glock is not merely a firearm, but a lifestyle. They not only possess a collection of these handguns, but they also belong to the Glock Sport Shooting Foundation. The foundation aims to promote target shooting as a sport, and it boasts a membership of over 22,000 individuals who participate in more than 100 shooting competitions each year. To become a member, one must simply compete with a Glock pistol and pay the membership fee, which is already included in the purchase of a Glock firearm. Despite some controversy surrounding the family-friendly shooting events organized by the foundation, Glock asserts that the group serves as an effective platform for teaching firearm safety. At almost 92 years old, Gaston Glock is still going strong having been born in 1929 and having lived through the Second World War. He founded his company 58 years ago and is currently the majority owner, though that may be subject to change due to his ongoing divorce battle with his wife of 53 years, which began in 2011. Despite the legal troubles, with a net worth of just over a billion dollars, Glock remains active in both charity and politics in his native Austria. However, his long life has not been without its close calls. What do gun enthusiasts have in common with Pokemon players? For some, it's the desire to collect them all. That's why Glock releases a variety of models in addition to their standard ones. While the Glock 17 and Glock 19 are the most popular models, there are several variations of each with slight differences in sights, frames, and other features. They have also introduced smaller models that are ideal for concealed carry, designed with a shorter and slimmer build to easily slip into a pocket. Now that you know some of the secrets behind Glock pistols, you can appreciate their unique design and unparalleled reliability even more. These pistols have come a long way since their inception. So next time you're at the range, take a moment to appreciate the history and craftsmanship behind your trusty Glock pistol. And who knows, maybe you'll discover even more hidden gems that make these pistols truly one of a kind.